2026 sounds far away. It's going to be here any moment. Bottom line, is this move better or worse for the U.S. men's national team? If you are purely self-interested in the United States, it's probably not a terrible thing. It means that the U.S. will qualify for every World Cup now. That, you know, right now there's a chance that they may miss World Cup 2018 after their bad start in the hexagonal. Uh, so I guess that's good. I also think it becomes, with this new format in the 48-team World Cup, a situation where you're going to have more surprise teams advance because more, more things are relying on one game, and fluky things can happen in soccer, bad referee calls. It seems to happen more in soccer than in other sports where the, be the better team doesn't always win. So you might see the U.S. or Mexico looking at easier opponents in the knockout rounds, which are now moving to 32 teams, and maybe have a chance to get further in the tournament. Okay. You know, I can't help but think, we're not all that far removed from a FIFA scandal that was worldwide and incredibly embarrassing. In some ways, does expanding the World Cup open the door for more potential shady business? Well, potentially. I mean, part of the reason this is being done is to bring more money into FIFA. And that will happen. The TV rights will go up. There will be more games, uh, more sponsorships. Uh, that's part of Johnny Infantino's plan as the new FIFA president. So I think it's really up to Johnny Infantino to ensure that more and better safeguards are put on the individual countries that receive this money. Because a lot of the shadiest people in world soccer are the presidents of these national federations around the world. And most of those are still in power who were there during the FIFA scandal. So I think that's a hugely important thing for Johnny Infantino. In terms of the expansion itself, I don't like it overall. I think there's a couple good things about it in the sense of it makes the World Cup more inclusive, more African teams, more Asian teams will come in. That's not a bad thing necessarily. I don't like the format that they're uh, going to have here, which is 16 groups of three teams. Um, it creates a situation where there's going to be more incentives for 0-0 zero, zero ties if you're a team that isn't very talented. Uh, you're going to see potentially a situation where the final game of the group, because there's not simultaneous group games anymore, the two teams might agree and be incentivized to both just lay down so that they can both advance at the expense of the other team that's not playing at the time. So I have big problems with that.